Welcome to Red TV, supported by A-Star Recruitment for the 2022 season as we continue our build-up to the new campaign, as we continue our player previews. And Kev, it's unlucky for some, but it's lucky for us. It's Morgan Knowles! Morgan Knowles! Hooker. There you go, Kev. We mentioned it yesterday. Yeah. May play nine at some point. There we'll go. Uh, we never know. But yes, Morgan Knowles, the man who runs red hot in the red V, the man who it's impossible to extinguish. But he is proudly sponsored by Lancashire Fire Solutions. Very good. Very good. Need a little jingle now. Um, <laughs> Morgan Knowles, Kev, is he Saints' biggest sign in this offseason? Yes. I think one of the most astute ones to come in as I mentioned yesterday, is Joey Lussick. One of the biggest coups is us signing uh, Morgan Knowles until the end of 2025. Um, he's a talisman for us at the minute. He is becoming one of the more experienced players and kind of knows the, the traditions and the culture at the club. Um, he is key to us. He keeps our intensity up. Um He's a potential future captain of the club. I mean, what's not to love about him? He is he is very, very much a great re-signing for the club. Yeah, has, has he lost the unsung hero tag, which he rightfully yes. stuck with for the last 15 years? It, yeah, he it, it must have by now. He cannot be an unsung hero now. He can't be, you can't have, I'm sorry, if people start getting in touch with us, you can't have it. He's been um, dream team a couple of times back now. Back to back. You can't, yeah, you can't, you can't be in the dream team back to back and call him unsung. You can't be a champion back to back to back and be unsung. You can't be a Challenge Cup winner and unsung. You can't add all these together. And I'm afraid he can't then be an unsung player. And not when he gets the plaudits he does. He makes his England debut. I know he's, he's played international for Wales, but he makes his England debut as well. No longer can you call him unsung. I'm sorry, no. He is now a bona fide, bona fide top level player. Bona fide. Bona fide. Yeah. Um, you can have him. He was talking to Matt Shaw um, a couple of weeks ago and he said there were further avenues and a few options he could have taken further, but there was nothing on paper or on the table, but there was a fair bit of interest from the NRL uh, and a few other clubs before he re-signed for us. Uh, but interestingly enough, he was saying that he's really frustrated that we didn't do the treble last year. Um, and he said, obviously, moving forward over the next couple of years, next year could potentially be a little bit of a transitioning year with the, the loss yeah. of the likes of James Roby, etc., uh, and he now understands his senior role in that team. And I think he's not a young player anymore. He is a, he is captain material, isn't he? He is, yeah. That's it. I'm just having a look at his um, career appearances. 149, according to the Saints website. So he's, he has been around for, for kind of longer than you think. He's, he's, it's all tallying up now. I mean, Saints do also, in his player bio, call him... Morgan Knowles is one of the unsung heroes in the Saints back. You need to change it. You can't have that anymore. He's not an unsung hero. Um, yeah, but he, that's it. He, he is captain material. He's, I think the, you can't really, um, and I w I've not heard any comparisons with, with all the 13s that we've, we've had in the past. And I don't think you can compare him to any... 13s we've had in the recent past because uh, uh, he's a different type of player. Maybe could he add another string to his ball? We're getting a couple more tries, possibly, possibly. But I think there I'm, I'm picking on one tiny thing that he maybe could do better when, as I say, he keeps our intensity up. He leads that that pack alongside the likes of Alex Walmsley and James Roby. Um, and he, he is just one of our key players. You always get the feeling when he's on the field that he provides that little spark that we need. Yeah. Yeah. You do. He's a, and we've spoken about other players, and uh, I think we mentioned when we were doing the James Bell one a couple of days ago, that about that link-up play. And Morgan Knowles still does provide that link-up play. 
he does. He's, he still gets his hands on the ball and he still will shovel it out, but he's also not afraid of getting stuck in with a run and getting stuck in with tackles as well. Um, I think that you see there was a couple of games last season where when he went off, our intensity dropped. And hopefully we've got now the backup for him that, that will keep that going because you don't want him. And, and I saw a couple of people saying, oh, he could play 80 minutes. And I've said it time and time again. I don't necessarily want Morgan Knowles playing 80 minutes. Why do I want him flogging himself week in, week out when you get then get towards the end of the season and he's knackered and, and he's not as effective as he could be? So us kind of bringing the likes of James Bell in is key to, as we'll talk about, we spoke about yesterday with Joey Lussick and, and James Roby, it's key to just making sure that Morgan Knowles doesn't fall into that zone where he could get injured. Like that, the red zone that they talk about where it's it's dangerous for him to play because he's been played at high intensity. If we can take him out but keep the intensity as a team, that is it's going to be vital for us this season. The burning question though, Kev, is can he go on and win Man of Steel? Um, it, probably if they change how they vote for it, yeah. Um, is that Morgan done and dusted? I, I think his, his career so far basically speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. And that's it. He, he's grown into one of those players that, that you just can't leave out. And, and rightly is wearing our number 13 shirts. It's been worn by some great players over the years. Um, and hopefully in the next kind of four years of his contract and maybe longer, we'll see what happens. Um, but the next four years of his contract, he can he can kind of build on what he's been doing, improve on what he's been doing, and and become a, a, another legend who's won the 30. Absolutely. Hopefully, Morgan Knowles, who is proudly sponsored by Lancashire Fire Solutions in 2022, can continue to, to, to take us to new Fahrenheit's this season. Very good. Very, very good. You're proud of yourself with that one, aren't you? I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we will be back tomorrow with another episode of Red V TV. Catch you soon.